winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome to a Thursday modding video. Today we're going to be working on the Oliver 1955 pack again. Uh, I'm going to be adding some cool detail items to them and also going to be fixing a couple of things that um, the people at FS-UK had pointed out. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a fender radio to this tractor here. Because you got to have a radio while you're working. I mean, it just is not right if you don't. It gets boring. So we'll slide that over. Okay, and now put it down far enough. I think that looks pretty good. Now comes the question, do I make it dirty or not? And can I? Probably not. Yeah, we'll just leave it. You don't want your radio to be covered in dirt. Okay, so now some things that I need to look at. Um, parts, yes, that's what I need. So the needles are all one. So there, I'm, those I'm not doing. Oh, but there are some different needles. So those needles I may not work, but... Aha, so these are set up. They're already separated and whatnot for these pieces here. I just need to figure out how to make them work, which may not be too hard. Okay, and then the fan, is that also zeroed in? No, it's not. So the fan won't work. Okay, but we can get those gauges working. So we're going to go ahead. Uh oh, I did not just do this all in that, did I? Okay, good. I thought I did all that in the wrong camera. Okay, so now we'll go to the cab tractor here and we'll bring in the cab radio. And then we'll put that into position. Um, we want cab radio, not fender radio. And we want that right up here somewhere. I don't know if it's just me, but that kind of seems a little small. I guess it kind of make uh, it does kind of look right. I guess, I don't know. I might actually make that a little bit bigger, yeah. Let's try 2 by 2 by 2. Uh, let's go 3. There we go. So now we gotta rotate it. So that it'll sit in here nicely. Just like that. Okay, so now is it centered in the cab? No, it's not. It is now though. Okay, so now we got a radio in that one as well. Now need to find something that has animated gauges in it. Uh, I know something that has animated gauges. This F-250. Just 
just to figure out how they're set up. Because like I said, I've never dealt with them before. Okay, Ford Visual. Indoor HUD. Here we go. Oh, and then the fuel actually works in this too. I did not know that. Okay, so we have 14.0 and 14.1. Just going to bring both of these up. Um, so there's nothing in there. Control F. Whatever. So we need zero. Uh, da, 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 da. Got it. So then I need, I'm just going to take all of this here, copy it, and then, okay, we need to open a new window so we can go back to our tractor. And then. We need both of those. So, um, okay, so that'll go under that then. So we don't need fuel display. So we need to figure out our nodes here for these parts which it should be the same in both of these tractors I think but we're gonna find out um, parts so 0 40 41 so let's double check that it's the same in this one and if it's not then I can't just do them both the exact same way Um, where's the indoor HUD? Did he make the dials part of this tractor? Let's see if I can select the. No, I can't. Uh, indoor HUD. Indoor HUD. So they are part of this. I'm just not sure where. Ah, uh, they are all together on this tractor. Okay. Well, actually, I can fix that. I got a way to fix that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to this tractor. We're going to go needles. We're going to export the selection. Needles. indoor HUD now we should be okay okay so they're not exactly the same but or uh, location wise But we got it anyways, so so we're in, okay, so we need this one. So this is the cab tractor. 
So this is 40, 45. Zero, forty, uh, forty five. So then let's see, that is speed. No. RPM is 1, speed is 0. Okay, is there anything else about these? No. Okay, and I just want to make sure there's not a script in here somewhere. For that. Which it does not look like there is, so... Um, oh, those are character nodes, okay. Okay, so I think we can close that. So now if we copy all this stuff, paste it there. Okay, so now we're done with the cabbed tractor. So now these are 40, 41, speed being 0 yet. So just change these to 1s. And now we should be all good to go, hopefully. So what I'm going to do... is I'm going to zip this thing up, name it something different other than Oliver, so that way I'm not replacing the old one quite yet. Uh, oh, there is one other thing that we got to fix. Dirt normal needs to come over here. So now we shouldn't have an, anything show up in the... Uh, error thing or whatever down here in console textures share dirt normal dot png so it needs to be in textures and then shared then dirt normal right No, we can just go like this. We can edit that, get that out of there. And then we can take this and put it back out here. Because that's why the I forgot that the, um, the dirt shader, it wants to have everything. You know, it already has it changed in there. And I forgot about that, so... Now we should be good. There should be nothing in here. Uh, with invalid case. I don't know what that means. That's the only thing in there. In this triangle. Okay. So I'm going to zip this up quick and I'll be back. When I'm in game. Okay. Well, um, I was just about to record in game and found out that I messed up the uh, outdoor camera on the cabbed tractor so I had to restart and then I saw that I messed it up anyways so <sighs> I don't know what what I'm doing wrong here Oh, I'm probably missing something in the mod desk. Yeah, indoor HUD. I bet you that's not in the mod desk for these. Nope. So that having that would help. Uh, 
this one needs to be moved in for whatever reason that's not in all the way okay indoor HUD I needed animated vehicle is that in there good grief that hurt um Hmm, looks like it. Ugh! Play. Okay. That looks like it's it. So. Now, I will see you guys in-game. And I did fix the camera already. I just took the uh, Oliver1955 zip file in my mods folder, copied it to my desktop, extracted it, and then just opened up the cab tractor in Giants Editor, selected the outdoor camera, copied all of the XYZs for it, and pasted them to the one that I've been editing. So, okay, in game we go again. Okay. So now, let's check it out. So we got our fender radio here on this one. Alright, so we got some dials moving here. They kind of go in the wrong direction, though. They go really wrong. So, probably just got to change some rotation stuff, but... I mean, they're working... They are a little backwards, though, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, let's check this one out. Alright, cool, we got that radio. And this one, I'm assuming, same issues. Because, yeah, it's the same way, so. Alright. Um, so we're getting closer here. I can delete all those. Uh, I did redo the fan here. Or I put it into Blender and just quick did a zeroing on it. So we're just going to see how this turned out. And remember to change camera angles as well. Alright, so we're going to go window material editing, and then we need to select our fan, and we're going to remove the dirt shader from it. Because if you look, you can see when you try and rotate it, it kind of goes in a way bigger circle than it needs to be, or should be. So we're going to import this new fan. We're going to go here, here. And then we need to select everything between the two. So now we do that. And control shift V. And we need to make this a one, one, one scale. No, way too big. 0.1. Well, holy crap, how big did they make this one? 100? Uh, yeah, no. Point one, maybe. Holy smokes. Okay, forget it, we're just not animating this. <laughs> the fan can just stay the way it is. Um, okay, so Oliver1955. We need to open this stuff. Because we need to figure out how to make these rotate the way that we want them to rotate. To get these so that they rotate the correct way. Parts, indoor HUD. Okay, so speed. Uh, 
Okay, so start time zero, start rotation. So our rotation is currently zero, one hundred, zero. speed and then our end needs to be come on rotate really oh, and I had it even Man, I hate when stuff does this. No. I want it to turn. Why is that so stinking difficult? Ugh. Okay, so let's just try going zero then on it. Okay, so maybe this needs to be like three. No, how about ten? Okay, so then, all right. So we need zero, twelve, zero. Then RPM display starts out at zero. At all the way zero and then Okay, so then negative 180 and negative 180 and then 30, no, 100, not quite, 80, cool. So then this starts at just zero, correct, yes, at just zero and then it's Negative 180 space 80 space 180. So we're just going to save it and we'll just test out the one tractor here. Although, you know, it'll zip them both up, but we'll just buy the open cab tractor and then. Um, and then test that one so I'm just gonna keep recording I guess Ugh. so now we'll wait for this to load all that good stuff And of course now it's taking ages to load. There it goes. Whoa, I went way too far. So save game seven is my testing save game on Westbridge. So I'll just wait for this to load here.
Okay, so let's take a look here. Okay, so that one's wanting to go that way. And this one's wanting to go that way. Huh? I have no idea what the heck's going on there. N times one. Start rotation zero. Hmm. Well, I don't know anymore. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to talk to somebody, I guess, on this and see if I can get them to help me. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go to tractordata.com. And see what the heck they were talking about. So we're going to look for an Oliver 1955 engine. No, that's not what I want. Okay, so a 1955 has 120 horsepower, it says. So what do these tractors have? Uh, my desk. So power is 108. I don't know what their rating is. 1970 to 1974. Twelve volts, hydraulics, there's mechanical. I'm just not seeing what this guy is talking about. When I say guy, I mean the guy at FSUK. This tractor is just fine. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to talk to somebody and see if they can get this thing fixed. Or show me what I need to do, how the heck to get this thing working the way it should. So, thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as some links to some social medias of mine and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.